What's up, YouTube? My name's Gio, and we got some conflicting things going on in the Call of Duty community right now with Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Everyone and their mothers, when it first got announced, hyped to hell. Everyone was going crazy. Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Oh my god, it's going to be amazing. And I was hyped too, because it would be the last Call of Duty game game I'd be getting. Even though there's no factual statements that it is coming, was coming out at least, at least. But now we're seeing, okay, this is looks legitimate. This does look like a real thing. Charlie Intel came, came into the mix and then gave us a nice little slap to reality that Activision likes to fuck us by saying that there are sources saying that Modern Warfare 2 Remaster is only going to be campaign. Now that's a video and, and a whole other right. That's a whole other video. But I'm here to explain that even if this perfect world where MW2 Remastered is multiplayer, campaign, spec ops, everything. We should not really be getting this hyped for it. And the reason I'm saying this is because we need to look back at Modern Warfare Remastered. And the fundamental thing is, is that it's never, it's never going to feel like Modern Warfare 2. It's never going to feel, you're never, not going to be reliving those days. It's, it's never going to happen. It's just not going, going to happen for a few reasons. For one reason, then supply drops. You know 100% Activision, they know how big this is, which I still can't believe it's going to be campaign only until I see definitive proof that f from Activision or Call of Duty saying this is going to be campaign only. Then I'll believe that Activision shot themselves in the foot. But that's besides as the point. I don't think they're that stupid. So this, oh, in this hypothetical scenario, Model for 2 Remaster comes out. You know new weapons are going to come out, new supply drops, and then everything... Thing is going to change in the in the game and also Modern Warfare 2 was broken to shit there was a lot of broken things a lot of glitches a lot of stuff in the game that aimed that a lot of people liked because it gave everyone a chance and a lot of people didn't exact, exactly like like one man army YouTube it's not like COD 4 remastered where you can just slap a new coat of paint on it and call it a day you are gonna have to make some tweaks because Modern Warfare 2 is a fundamentally broken game so there's gonna need to be some tweaks around, and, and while they're in there, well, you don't know what Activision could do. They could be ner they can nerf some guns, they can buff some gun guns. They 100% need to nerf fucking again, one man army noob tube if they're gonna do that. That's it's just uh, that's a whole whole other can, can of worm, worms right there. But then supply drops are gonna come out. You know they're gonna take the opportunity to add new weapons, bins, put supply drop drops in, COD points. You know Activision is going to take this opportunity. It's it's just money asking to be taken from people, and people will pay for it. But let's just say, in this perfect world, in this world where Modern Warfare 2 Remastered comes out, it comes out, brand new game, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, 30, 30 bucks, 35 bucks, I don't know. No, I don't, I don't know what it would, it would sell for. For multiplayer, campaign, spec ops, everything. And no supply jobs. Activision came out and says, you know what? We're not going to be douche canoes. We are just going to give you guys the game, and that's it. Here's all my map packs free. Here it is. As unrealistic as that is, is it's there's more of a chance of that happening than you guys reliving moments from Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, you can be nostalgic around it, being like, hey, yeah, that's... Oh, I did something there there on Favela, or hey, I remember that, that long snipe I got on Wasteland or something like that, just walking through the maps. But the thing is, fundamentally, the player base of Call of Duty has changed since then. Modern Ma Warfare 2 it came out so long ago. I want to say nine, nine years ago. I want to say, say nine years ago it came out. But it came out so long ago, ago and so many players have left the Call of Duty. The Duty franchise, so many people have came, came in. A lot of people that came in are younger. And the thing is, back in, back in, the, in the day, back with Modern Warfare, Warfare 2, Black Ops, Modern, Modern Warfare 3, and even Black Ops 2 to a certain extent. Black Ops 2 started to get a bit, bit iffy, iffy, but you, it was kind of a slower paced game. Um, it was more of a tactical game. You didn't because the maps were so big. You had to really think out your moves. There were crucial choke points. You had to really, really think about about okay, I'm gonna run this route down down favela, and my teammate's gonna give me sniper co coverage up as I go plant the bomb or something like that. The thing is, is that's a mindset. That's not something the developers can put into the game. And players nowadays. All the younger kids now that are playing Call of Duty that got got it in Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, Black Ops 3, and now World War 2 are so used to just fast 
paced gameplay that they're going to play it completely different than how the players would play it back in 2000 or whatever the fuck, back when it was new. You know, I, I honestly can't be bothered to, to look up the dates. I really can't can't be bothered because it doesn't, doesn't matter. You guys get the, the point of what I'm saying here is that the player base is going to change this game. I mean, it did it for Modern Warf Warfare Remastered, but take away all the supply fly jobs, take away all the new, new weapons that they added to it. Modern Warfare Remastered at launch is fundamentally not the same game as COD 4 because of the people that play the game. When we were, we were first learning Call of Duty, we learned through play, playing. We learned through dying and playing. Nowadays, people learn Call of Duty not through playing, but by watching say, YouTubers. And it's always a competition to get the highest scoring, scoring game play, play fast, fast, fast. Whereas back in the day, it was more tactical, it was more methodical. There was choke point points. It, it's just a different beast. And I feel like we're getting hyped over something that shouldn't be getting this, this much hype. Me personally, I wasn't the biggest fan of Modern Warfare 2 because I didn't start Call of Duty then. So I can't come up on my Howard horse and say, oh yeah, I shouldn't be hyped hype for, for this because I wasn't a part of it. But I can say, based on what I see from Modern Warfare Remastered, that the game's going to change. And the sooner you guys can accept that, the sooner you guys can enjoy it. Personally, for me, if it comes out and it's multiplayer or only, only or just has multiplayer, I can't believe I'm saying that if it has multiplayer in a Call of Duty game. I never thought it'd come to that day. That that sounds like a joke. You would have told me this three years ago. I would have laughed in your face. But Activision, I, I I just hope you're not not this stupid. Just let's just take this as it is. Accept that the game's gonna be different, and then and enjoy it. Because for me at least, if it comes out with multiplayer, it's gonna be my last Call of Duty. And I think it's a pretty good Call of Duty to end off on. Because Call of Duty is dying. But that's a video for another day. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Are you just fed up with Activision and their bullshit because you think it's going to be campaign only? Or are you still fairly hyped for, for this game? Or are you in my boat to where you're middle of the road and you're like, well, let's see what happens. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will talk to you all later. Peace.